What is going on guys? CH from Village Park Source. Welcome back. Okay, in this video I want to talk about my favorite jQuery method of all time because we're going to talk about animate and this deals with things in transition and movement and move around which is very important because it's good for like banners. There's more money in advertising than any other thing in the world so you want to be able to create like eye-catching banners. Who's interrupting our video right now? Yeah, I get that but angry that I may have did. Yeah, you're not getting written back. Okay, so let's go ahead and you can delete all this code from uh, the last video. The uh, was it the hover? Was that it? Okay, so what I want to do in this video, I want to go ahead and create a button, and we'll just call it "What's Up," and we'll save it. Let's open it up. Let's see if our button's there. Our button's there, and it shouldn't do anything. Exactly. Okay, cool. So what I want to do now is let's go ahead and create some. We got to create something. We got to create. I'll create a circle. I'll create an orange circle style equals. We'll do background and we'll give it that awesome color. FF4800. And we'll give it a height, I don't know, 100 pixels. Call it width the same. Nope. Border, do we need a border? No, what am I missing? Definitely position absolute. Mm, give it a border radius. Yeah, we'll turn it into a circle. Border radius of maybe 50 pixels. That should turn it into a circle. And let's close that out. Let's see if that looks, see how that looks. Open it back up. What am I doing? Safari. Perfect. Okay. Man, that's kind of bland. We can put something else in there. Let's put in. Give it an H3. H3 style. Let's give it a little bit more CSS. Padding left. Let's try to center it out. Maybe we'll try like 40 pixels. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. And we'll say VP. And we'll close out our H3 tag. And close out our div tag. What are the chances it's exactly in the center of this? Eh, not too far off. It's not that bad. Okay, so what I want to do with this is I want to move this around. Like, you know, when you go to Yahoo, or YouTube or Yahoo Sports, you see all these cool jQuery banners. Some are built in Flash. Some are built in jQuery. They got a lot going on. I want to do that. That's what this uh, animate uh, method allows us to do. So let's go up to the top. Document ready. Well, we need to go and grab jQuery, pull in jQuery, and we need, use, need to use the correct selector. We want to deal with our button. And we'll give it the click. We don't want to hover over a button. We want to click on it. Click and... Can't ever remember if I'm using one or two parameters okay so now in here what do we want to do let's go ahead and grab our div so when we click on our button what do we want to have execute well we want to have animate and inside our animate we can give it properties so we'll say start it from the left and we'll move it 550 pixels just like that let's go ahead and close this beast out I'm gonna pause this look at my code really quick okay I think this should do it let's make sure you got closing tags right here very confusing debugging is like the worst part of programming by so far what am I missing what am I missing what am I oh these got to be in quotations single quotations Go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and reload it and see if our button works. Let's reload it. Click what's up. Check it out. Move 550 pixels from the left. If we didn't want to have this button, we could just go ahead and instead of having click right here, just click ready. And it's like an event handler. It'll just go when the page loads. There it is, just like that. Keep reloading it and the ad banner will run itself. So this is kind of a brief introduction of ad banners and 
uh, transition and movements and stuff we can do like that with jQuery. In the next video, I want to talk about the properties that go inside some of these methods. Like in this case, we use left and uh, 550 pixels. And uh, yeah, all right. Uh, congratulations. You guys know a little bit about jQuery transitions. Hopefully this made sense. Make sure you have the correct code. Good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video.